Hey Gateway family, Pastor Steven here, and welcome to Try It Tuesdays. But this Try It Tuesday is going to be different. As you've noticed, we're in a time that everything changes, and there are some things that become much more valuable than others. So today, instead of us doing something and then you guys just watching it, we are going to show you three different games that you can do with your family as sort of a little competition, and then you can use the hashtag right below, and you can show us how it went for you guys, and we can watch it once you've done it. So let's go ahead and explain our three games. All right, so here is our first game. What you have to do is you have to take this toilet paper, and if you don't have a paper towel holder like we do, you can find something else to maybe make it stand up. But basically, it's like a game of horseshoes that you throw in and you get it around the ring, but you've got toilet paper, so instead of a U shape, you've got to get it in the circle and get it to land like that. But it's not as simple as just sitting here and putting it over that to see who gets it first. Your family all has to sit an equal distance away and you're going to try to throw it onto that. You can't reach over and do this. You have to sit in your spot and just throw it and try to land it on. Pastor Hannah, why don't you go ahead and give us a demonstration of how to do it? Yeah. As you can see, this trick shot kind of thing is going to take a little bit longer than you would think. So get ready to sit around with your family and, and enjoy playing this game. All right, guys. So as you can see, but we can't, this is game number two. Blindfolded dodgeball with toilet paper. Now, I know that sounds crazy and really dangerous. You're going to want your parents to set where you're allowed to play this. They might even suggest you play it outside. But what you do is you get a blindfold and cover up your eyes so neither person can see. Where are you at? Hannah? Hannah? Yeah. There you are. Okay, so do you have your blindfold on? Yes. So you have your blindfold on and you get set around the room. Everybody's going to spin in a circle three times. So one, two, three. You spin in a circle three times. Make sure you spread out. And then on the count of three, you're going to throw it at someone. I win! Oh, man. And that's how it works. So you play dodgeball with toilet paper and the last person standing wins. There you go. Right, guys, so for game three, it is toilet paper bowling. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find some water bottles or maybe some plastic cups. And what we have here is three, but you guys can set it up like at a bowling alley with 10. And you're gonna set them up and then like Pastor Hannah's gonna do, you're gonna take a few steps back from it. You're going to take your toilet paper roll and you're going to bowl it like a bowling ball. Go ahead, Pastor Hannah, show them. Terrible form. Hopefully you guys will do much better than what Pastor Hannah just did, but make sure you go ahead and enjoy playing game three as a family and see who gets the highest score at the end. You could play three rounds, five rounds. You could play 10 frames. You decide how you play your bowling game, but make sure you share it with us.